How does a solar cell work? Sunlight is made up of tiny packets of energy called photons. Every minute, enough of this energy reaches the earth to meet the world energy demand for a whole year. Photovoltaic panels consist of many solar cells. These are made up of materials like silicon, one of the most common elements on earth. The individual cell is designed with a positive and a negative layer to create an electric field just like in a battery. As photons are absorbed in the film, energy causes electrons to become free. The electrons move to the bottom of the cell and exit through the connecting wire. This flow of electrons is what we call electricity. By combining solar cells and the photovoltaic panels, we can produce just the right amount of electricity to perform a specific job no matter how large or small. Let us design a solar cell. Substrate chosen for the fabrication of a solar cell is a silicon wafer. Make the surface rough for an enhanced surface area for maximum absorption of light. Diffusing n-type material helps generate an electric field across the junction that aids in drifting electrons and holes. Anti-reflection coatings such as ITO reduces surface reflection. Patterning aluminum contact pads for electrical probing. Process flow, bare silicon wafer, surface texturing, diffusion, ITO deposition, contact pads. Let us fabricate a solar cell. Take a bare P-type silicon wafer. Chemical treatment of the wafer is followed. Clean the wafer in a piranha solution for 10 minutes. Rinse the wafer in DI water and blow dry with a nitrogen gun. You see that the silicon surface is smooth, shiny and reflecting. We then use KOH solution to make the silicon wafer rough. We intend to roughen the silicon surface in order to increase the surface area of absorption. Now we see that the silicon wafer is no more shiny and reflective. In order to protect the backside of the silicon wafer for n-type diffusion, we oxidize the complete wafer. The thermal furnace is activated when the temperature is ramped to 1000 degrees Celsius and oxygen gas is let in. After a couple of hours, we unload the wafer and take it for photolithography. Place the oxidized wafer in the spin coater and dispense the required photoresist Photoresist is a UV sensitive chemical. Spin the substrate to the desired RPM. Photoresist coated wafer is now ready to be exposed to UV light in the mask aligner. We use a patent chrome mask to selectively expose UV onto the wafer. Load the substrate beneath the chrome mask. After UV exposure, unload the substrate carefully. Your substrate is now ready for phosphorus diffusion. We diffuse phosphorus to create an electric field across a junction. Increasing the absorption of light makes the solar cell more efficient for which we sputter an anti-reflection coating such as ITO. We place our substrate in the sputtering machine and provide the necessary utilities like temperature and pressure. LT Plasma ensures an even deposition of ITO on the substrate.
To electrically probe the solar cells, we pattern contact pads using photolithography. Sputtering electrically conducting aluminum on these contact pad patterns completes the device. Thank you for watching. We have more. You are welcome to Clean Room.